Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And now in this movie, I just want to show you how we can move, rotate, and scale our C spheres. All right. What I have right now here is a model that I am creating for uh, a project, and this is going to be like uh, some kind of um, a frogman. All right. It's going to be a man that uh, it changes uh, into a kind of frog. It's actually a, a Mexican uh, kind of uh, animal. It's not a frog. And um, Okay, let me show you how we can use these three different tools. I'm going to press A in order to rebuild the actual mesh that I'm, that I'm creating right now. And uh, now I'm going to return to my C-spheres. And the first thing is that I have shortcuts for these three different commands. I can press W in order to change to my Move tool. I can press A, uh, E, excuse me, in order to change to my Scale tool and R for Rotation. Uh, I'm going to press W in order to change to Move. And now, as you can see, Right now, I am uh, using my symmetry tool, and that way, if I move one side of my object, I'm going to move the other side uh, as well. For example, let me move this shoulder. You can see how if I move one, the other one is uh, moving at the same time. All right. Now, that's what I can do with my move tool. I can reposition the shoulders or other area of my object. For example, I can take the knees and do the same kind of thing. All right, and um, head or whatever. I can move everything inside ZBrush without any restriction. Uh, if I press A now, you can see how I deform this mesh now. It looks a little bit different. And if I don't like these changes, so I have to press Control C in order to remove all these deformations. Now, the same kind of thing I can do with my scale tool, okay? And you can see if you place your cursor on top of that specific tool, you're gonna have the shortcut for that. So if I press the scale tool, what I can do is that I can scale up or down, okay? Make it bigger or smaller. And obviously I am getting the same kind of effect and reaction in my, in my uh, skin mesh, all right? And obviously the last one, the rotation tool allows me to rotate my C spheres. Now, uh, in this case, you can see how we can rotate the arms like this, All right? And change the the position of his arms. And you can see how the polygons are getting the form in this uh, section of the shoulder. You can see how we have these kind of uh, lines for our polygons, and then here we have. Uh, some kind of bad deformation. Probably our polygons are even um, overlapping each other. And we don't want to do that when we work inside a ZBrush, right? We can have a lot of problems doing that kind of uh, deformation. So remember, when we're modeling, try to uh, avoid overlapping your polygons, right? Because that can give you a lot of uh, pain in, in production. And uh, that's it. Uh, well, actually, let me give you a little uh, advice here. If you select uh, any of these uh, other uh, tools, as you can see, we can move that specific region of our object. But now if you select the bone instead of the C-sphere, what you can do is that you can reposition the entire section, all right? All the different uh, joints or, or portions that are connected to that specific bone are going to be deformed with that specific tool, all right? That way you can rearrange different and complete uh, portions okay entire portions of your objects and this is an easy way of doing that because otherwise you have to you should have to move one by one and that could be a little bit annoying more than anything with the hands for example if you want to move all the fingers uh, you have to do that manually by clicking on the on each of these uh, c spheres and for now that's it I just wanted to show you how you can use these three different options. And as you can see, it works with the scale tool too. Okay, I can make uh, the entire portion bigger. And I see you in the next movie. This is cardanfx.net or com. And thank you very much.